There's a trick in DaVinci Resolve that I almost never hear anyone talk about. It's one of the most overlooked tools in Resolve, but if you care about fast, consistent, and clean color grading, this might be your new secret weapon. It's called a shared node, and it basically lets you apply one grade across multiple clips and then update them all at once with a single change. Whether you're working on narrative, documentaries, music videos, or branded content, this is one of those tools that can seriously level up your workflow. So in this video, I'm gonna break down exactly how shared nodes work, when you should use them, how they stack up against other options like groups or adjustment clips, and why I think they're essential for color grading mastery in Resolve. So secure the cup and let's get into it. So first up, what is a shared node? In the color page of DaVinci Resolve, you can take any node that you've built and turn it into something called a shared node. And what makes this special is that the same node can be applied across as many clips as you want. You'll know that it's a shared node because it'll have a small blue icon in the top right corner that looks like two arrows pointing in opposite directions. And here's the key. Whatever grading happens within that node will be shared across any clips that that shared node appears. That means that if you change the grade within a shared node on one clip, it automatically updates everywhere else that that node is used. So here's what that looks like in action. Okay, so I've got a handful of clips here from the same scene. And for the sake of this demonstration, I've already done some of the basic adjustments, things like color space transform, bit of exposure, contrast, and white balance on each clip individually. And the reason that I did those separately is because even if the lighting and the camera setup are the same, each shot might have slight differences that need to be fine tuned on a clip by clip basis. But when it comes to the creative look, like applying a LUT or a specific grade, I want it to be identical across all of those clips. So for that, I'll go to the first clip and I'll add a new node after the primary adjustments. I'll hit tab to label it something like look or look one, and then I'll apply my creative grade. Maybe that's a LUT, maybe some contrast shaping, maybe a bit of color styling, whatever you want to do. Once that's set, I'll right click on the node and choose save as shared node. You'll see that small blue icon I told you about appear in the top right corner, those two arrows pointing in opposite directions, and that tells you that this is now a shared node. Then I'll go over to another clip. Since it already has its own base corrections, I'll just right click on the last node before where I want the shared node to be, and I'll choose add node, and then below the normal options, we'll see a line, and then we'll see our look one shared node is right there. Once I click on that, both of the clips have that exact same creative look applied, but they still maintain their own exposure, contrast, and balance. But like I said before, the best part of the shared node is that now if we want to adjust whatever is happening on that shared node, it'll be applied across all the clips that we put it on. That being said, by default, shared nodes are locked, so you can't actually make any adjustments to them. So if we do want to change them, we're going to have to right click and deselect lock node, and then you can make any changes that you want to apply across your clips. Now, shared nodes are amazing for situations like this, but of course they're not the only way to apply looks across multiple clips in Resolve. So let's take a second to compare them to two other options that you might be using, groups and adjustment clips. Groups are great when you've got a lot of clips that need to share some of the same adjustments. You can apply nodes to the group pre-clip, clip, or group post-clip level, and that will give you some some flexibility in how the grade is layered. Anything that's done on the clip will just be for that clip. Anything done in the group pre-clip or group post-clip will be shared with everything in that group. But the problem with groups is that sometimes you want to change up which parts of the grade are shared and which parts stay unique to each clip, and that can get a little bit tricky if you're starting to get really advanced with it. Like if one clip needs a little tweak, you either have to pull it out of the group or make a new group altogether. And that's where shared nodes can be a little bit of a better option. They give you manual control over which clips get the look and you can still adjust things individually. The downside to using shared nodes in this way is that there's no quick batch way to add a shared node like there is with grouping. You have to go in and apply it to each clip one at a time. So it's kind of a more manual process. But what's cool is you can actually use shared nodes inside your groups as well. So if you want the mass efficiency of grouping but you also want to control the shared nodes, you can combine them by using that combination 
combination of shared nodes and groups, you could actually have shared parts of your group post clip shared across multiple groups as well. So if you want the same effect or grade across a bunch of different groups, this makes it even easier to do. And I think this is really the sweet spot is combining groups and shared nodes. Then there's adjustment clips, which are kind of like Resolve's version of adjustment layers in Premiere or After Effects. They're awesome for quick global looks, like if you want to slap a LUT or something across a whole scene in your entire timeline or a chunk of it. But after that, they can get kind of annoying. If you're trying to tweak clips underneath, you have to keep clicking back and forth to select the adjustment clip or to select the clip. And it kind of interrupts the flow. And because the adjustment clip sits above the video layer, it's always applied after the clip's internal grade. So if you want the look to come before certain corrections, you're kind of out of luck or you have to do some really serious workarounds. Shared nodes may be a little bit more work to set up, but they give you way more flexibility and control, especially when you want consistent looks, but also want to keep your node structure clean and intentional. So yeah, groups and adjustment clips definitely have their place, but lately I found myself reaching for shared nodes way more often. They're just so powerful, flexible, and super modular. So now that you know how shared nodes work and how they compare to other options, let me show you a few ways that you might want to use them in your workflows. First up, the most obvious one that we kind of talked about before is for creative looks. A lot of the time I'll build my look in a few layers. I'll split it into multiple nodes like look color and look contrast or look one and look two, depending on how I want to name them on the day. And then I'll turn both of those into shared nodes. That way I can fine tune them separately if I want to push the vibe of a scene a little bit more or pull it back. And because they're shared, those changes update automatically on every clip that uses them. I've still got the flexibility ability to choose on each clip whether it will run through that look in the same way or if I need to do something slightly different. Another similar way to use them is by using a LUT in a shared node. Super simple, I drop the LUT, like a film look or something like that, into its own node, I save it as shared, and then I apply it across all the clips that I need that look. And if you want to try out a different LUT, all you have to do is update it once and it will update across all of those different clips. I also love using shared nodes for effects like grain or halation. If I'm adding those kinds of stylized layers like grain, glow, diffusion, whatever, it's way easier to build it once and then reuse it across clips. And usually if I want to update that, I want it to update across everything so shared nodes are perfect. Instead of copy pasting across every clip, I just drop that shared node wherever I need it. And finally, I'll sometimes use a shared node for color space transforms. If you've seen any of my other color grading videos, you probably know that when working with log footage, I convert from log to DaVinci wide gamut using a color space transform on one of the first nodes in my node graph. And then I convert it from DaVinci wide gamut to Rec 709 at a node near the end. If I've got a bunch of clips that need the same treatment, I can make these two CST nodes into shared nodes and use them across every clip from that same camera setup. And if I end up needing to tweak the CST settings later, I just do it once and it updates everywhere. These are just a few of the ways that I use shared nodes, but honestly, once you start using them, you'll start to come up with a ton of different ways that they can be handy for you. So if you haven't tried them yet, I highly recommend giving them a shot. And if you like them, you owe me a donut. And if you're already using them, let me know down in the comments, how are you working with shared nodes in your grading process? And if you wanna dive deeper into any part of this workflow, or if you have any questions, drop that comment down below and I'll do my best to help. And on your way down there, make sure to hit the like subscribe and bell notification button so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.